You know, there's nothing quite like an automobile to bring back good memories for all of us. You know, when we come to a car museum, we look at all these amazing vehicles. It's easy to look at the shine, the glitz, and the glamour, but they go much deeper than that. They go to something very personal. And uh, this particular 1948 Ford Super Deluxe Wagon brings back a personal memory for me. My grandfather was a longtime grocer. That's what he did for most of his career. He got his start in the grocery business right out of high school. He helped a friend after school sweep uh, the floors after school. The manager of the store was so impressed with Grandpa actually picking things up to move them to dust and sweep underneath them that he thought there's potential manager position there. And they were so impressed with his hard work ethic that within a few years, Granddad was the manager of a Kroger grocery store. Grandpa ended up working over 17 years for Kroger. By the time he left, after all those years, he uh, not only managed a store, but supervised uh, countless other stores throughout Iowa and Illinois. And, uh, but he always had a dream, and that dream was to one day own his own little corner grocery store, or a grocery store per se. That opportunity came up in, during World War II. There was a long time established uh, grocer in Burlington, Iowa that was getting ready to retire after serving the community for over 50 years. He noticed Grandpa, and uh, they hit, hit it off and Grandpa purchased his little corner grocery store up on North Hill um, in about 1944. One of the first things Grandpa did after purchasing the corner market was purchase a woody wagon for delivering groceries. Now that would have been somewhat similar to this one because the styles were all the same through the 1940s. I think his was a 1946. I've only seen pictures of the vehicle. I was not born yet, so I didn't have a chance to see that car in person. But it just brings back such great memories of who my grandfather was and his hard work in the grocery store. When I see the pictures of his woody wagon, it's a little worse for wear. It's got a ding or two here and maybe not as spotless as this one. But nonetheless, I'm sure he was very proud of it. One of the first things that grandfather did was have his name, B.J. Malone Grocer, and the address and the four-digit phone number and stencil on the side of both front doors. And grandpa never missed an opportunity to advertise for free. And so if he could do it on his, on his vehicle, that was something he was going to take an opportunity at. Now you may pause and think, well, why was he delivering groceries? Well, we have to remember that back in the early 1900s, uh, most stores were not self-serve. You would typically call into your local grocer and uh, with your list of groceries and the grocer would fill that order. And uh, if you were there at the store, you would pick it up, but otherwise he'd load it up in his vehicle and deliver the groceries to your house, oftentimes carrying them in and I'm sure even sometimes helping you put put them on the shelves. That's the type of service that was taking place back then. His true heart was always when he owned and managed his own stores, especially driving that Woody Wagon. You now I think about this Woody Wagon and, and their relation with it, and I think that's what so makes it so special to me is when I see this car and get to sit in it and start it up and drive it and, and hear that engine roar and or rumble, not really much of a roar in this car, but uh, it's just a great experience and it kind of lets me feel what my grandfather felt back in those days when he hopped in to take those loaded groceries to his customers.